Hello, my name is Matthew Kay. Uh, I'm here representing Beyond the Brick at Brick World Chicago 2016 in Schaumburg, Illinois. Um, I'm sitting here with uh, a man on a bench. Uh, this man is made of Lego. Um, the man next to this man made of Lego is Kevin Hinkle. Um, can you say hello, Kevin? Hello. So, uh, Kevin, recently it was announced, if you're uh, reading the, all the Lego blogs uh, in the universe, it was announced that Kevin uh, has a new position uh, within the Lego company. So, for the longest time, Kevin has been a community manager. So, he's the guy that represents Lego's interests to the AFOL community uh, at different fan events in uh, North America, South America, this uh, region. So Kevin is the guy that answers questions like, uh, is monorail coming back? Uh, what about the, the change of gray? Uh, <laughs> what, about, uh, what about those uh, sets? Not be all the real issues. Real issues. So uh, recently it was announced that Kevin will no longer be doing that. Uh, that job is now going to be done by someone else. But Kevin's not leaving the company. Kevin's not even leaving the community team. Kevin is going to be uh, remaining within the community team, and he's going to be doing something entirely different. So uh, as quickly as possible, can you give a short synopsis, Kevin, of uh, what your new position is going to be? Uh, thank you. That was actually a really good job describing what I currently do. So well done. It's almost as if you have talked to me, talking to me on several occasions. Uh, so yeah, you know, we, we did announce that I will be taking on a new role effective July 1st. So that's actually just in a couple weeks from now. Um, and uh, that will be, uh, we're kind of ironing out the details, but business integration, marketing integration on behalf of the, the department I'm in right now, Lego Community Engagement. Uh, and so it has a very internal focus not necessarily uh, any external, so to the degree the community has been interacting with me, uh, able to ask me questions and engage at an event and uh, through uh, ambassadors, through lugs, that won't continue. Uh, that'll actually be passed along to a new representative uh, and I'll be focused mostly with the Lego offices, the marketing units, the business units, um, and still kind of championing for the community and all the initiatives we, we drive as a department internally in the business. That is, uh, that is very cool, Kevin. And uh, at this moment, um, I really would be interested to have you sort of speak to how this uh, new position of yours kind of um, plays into like the macro trends of the LEGO company as a whole and uh, within the LEGO company, the community team. Um, obviously, LEGO is doing very well. It's growing as a company. Uh, you guys are doing uh, more and more interesting things as a brand. Um, how does this kind of position sort of tie in? What, what, is, what have you done thus far? Are within your current position that uh, sort of exemplifies what you'll be doing going forward? Well, you know, the Lego Group, in a way, is a company that constantly evolves. Uh, you know, we, we, we've got a lot of learnings and a lot of history as an organization, as a company, so we, we tend not to rest on our laurels too often. So we, we do have a long history of, of reorgs and, and re-evolution and, and re-evaluation and, and stuff like that, and this is definitely in a way, part of that as well. Um, but there has been certain initiatives that have happened in the past and, and currently that could certainly carry over uh, into the new role or, or be good examples of stuff I would be doing. So, um, you know, and, and it could be something as simple as being in a meeting with a business unit to provide feedback on behalf of the community, uh, again, with an internal focus. So a specific market office, you know, Lego Mexico, uh, wants to have feedback from the Mexican AFL community. Um, that would be uh, me and, of course, having dialogue with my successor uh, on what the pulse of the community is. But then I would be the one taking that conversation with the office. So, um, yeah, there's been a couple different things we've done before in that capacity. But now that will be my exclusive focus. Um, and also not just on behalf of my team, which is the AFL Relations and Programs team, but for the entire department. Uh, so yes, that still includes conventions, um, expos, exhibits, uh, lugs, recognized lugs, um, the kind of AFL media space, such as what you guys do, but also the initiatives we drive as a department like Lego Rebrick, the Lego Ideas platform. So it kind of encompasses all the stuff we're driving as a department. And uh, at the present time, uh, could you give a little bit of uh, sort of a short, like, kind of a blurb or a little bit of a bit about uh, the, the, the person that's replacing you has been chosen. Yeah. Um, could you speak a little bit to uh, who that person is and uh, what, what they'll be bringing to uh, the position that you currently hold? Yeah, so we, we have already settled on uh, someone who will be inheriting the, the area. Um, he's, uh, he, he's really he's a great guy. His name's Paul. Um, and he actually starts July 1st. So my official uh, new role starts July 1st. 
he officially joins the July 1st, so it's kind of a, uh, a hard start and stop for both of us. Uh, he's not new to LEGO. He's, he's actually uh, been at the LEGO group for more than eight years, so it's not someone who's come off the street. Uh, it was an internal hire, uh, and someone who has a, a huge interest, I think, in what you guys do and learning about this community. I would definitely dare to say he's a fan himself. Um, you know, he, he's learning about this, this uh, as I said, this ecosystem and, and what this is. Um, he's been in uh, a couple different roles himself, began in our uh, consumer services department, so he's experienced answering phones and, and dealing with, uh, you know, touch points with our consumers on various different issues. Uh, he's also worked in our D2C, direct-to-consumer uh, part of the business, which is Lego stores, shop at home, uh, and he's also traveled around with Lego Kids Fest for a couple years too. So he's got a, a couple different um, areas. Very well-rounded background. Yeah, yeah. So I think I think in in general the community will be in in well hands, and you know we're we're in close dialogue. You know it's not going to be a throw you guys to the wolves and I run away. Uh, and he'll actually be uh, joining me uh, in uh, July at Brick Fiesta. That'll be his first event, uh, which is uh, you know an interesting coincidence because for those that have been following me on this journey, five Five years ago, that was my first event. So he will be starting the same time I started um, at Brick Fiesta in Houston. So in your time in this position, uh, what are some of the things, uh, interactions, uh, sort of happenings that have really kind of fed your soul or made the job seem like a very, very worthwhile endeavor? What, what has sort of stood out to you over the years, either phenomena and different happenings, doesn't have to be one specific thing or it could be a series of things. Uh, what really brings you the most joy? You know, I, I kind of joke about it, but, you know, adding value to the community. You know, obviously the community doesn't need the Lego group. If the, if the company vanished or, or, you know, the community would be there. And it would be there probably for decades and decades and decades. You don't really need a business. You know, the, the products are still there. The, the hobby is still there. The passion is still there. Uh, and so when I'm here, you know, sometimes I joke, oh, I'm trying to add value. And, and, uh, and I, I would like to think that sometimes I do, I do that, uh, whether that's just having a conversation with an adult fan and they say, hey, you know, we're, we're trying to do this event or we're trying to do this initiative. And I go, actually, you know, that's happening somewhere. Like, why don't you talk to so-and-so? And then I see them connect and I see it, it form. And, and, you know, there's not really a lot involved for me aside from just connecting dots or connecting people together. You're a matchmaker. You could say that. You could say that. Uh, and I mean, certain other things, you know, um, you know obviously I've, I've watched you guys along the way. Uh, and, and you know, the, from the people that have heard the stories, the whole old name to new name, I had a hand in that too. So it's, it's, you know, it's interesting to see the different ways that I can add value to the community. Uh, that's what really makes it rewarding. Um, and I, there's, there's so many of those examples uh, over five years, so I, I can't come up with too many right now. <laughs> Perfectly acceptable. And so to, to round us out here, um, at present, every one of these events counts as like a touch point. Uh, a, a, not a physical touch point, but uh, a, a, this event is a place where people can come up to Kevin and talk to him and ask him questions and get feedback from him. Um, going forward, you, you did mention that this new role, this is definitely a more internal focused role. Um, how can fans that know who you are right now uh, help you uh, do your new job better? How can they get in contact with you, add value to what you're doing? Doing. Uh, if I was watching this and I'm just uh, a guy in the middle of uh, nowhere, uh, in the middle of, um, I don't really want to say a specific state because if you're watching this and I say the middle of nowhere in X state, uh, we'll just say in, or country. Or country, in the middle of in the middle of America. How about that? Somewhere in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of America, uh, wherever that is, um, and you're watching this and you want to kind of uh, help you do your new job better. Uh, what can that person do, and what should they think about, and how should they reach out to you? Yeah, so, you know, as I mentioned before, the new role is still being defined in a lot of different ways. Um, you know, we, we're, we're kind of treading new grounds in a couple different things. So there, I, I, it's like, this is the process you should follow. Here's the criteria. Here's how you should contact me. Um, obviously, I will continue to be in very close dialogue uh, with Paul, who will take over for me, um, because we both will kind of have to rely on each other. Uh, me for the pulse of the company, him for the pulse of the community. So honestly, I would say continue this relationship, continue this dialogue with Paul. Uh, you know, don't don't be afraid to engage with the new guy. I know uh, in the community sometimes uh, s social situations and and personalities can be a hurdle. 
Uh, but I, I truly believe you guys are in good hands, and so don't be afraid to continue to have these same conversations. When things arise, uh, I mean, obviously, we'll reach out, whether that's reaching out through Paul or reaching out through a different initiative, that's yet to be determined. Um, but I want to make sure everyone's uh, comfortable continuing to work with who the new community manager is going to be. Uh, because for the community, that is going to be your primary point of contact. Uh, it will no longer be me. Kevin, uh, you shared a lot of wonderful insights with us. Um, I'm really, really excited to see what you do uh, in your career, in your career with the Lego company. Um, we'll just have to keep tuned. And uh, Paul, we are, uh, we are eagerly awaiting your uh, arrival here into these uh, wonderful Lego conventions. So, uh, Kevin, thank you again. Thank you so much for uh, spending the time to share these insights. Yes. Thank you guys for all the, the wonderful times you've uh, allowed me to be on your podcast videos live streams and etc. cetera. Uh, hopefully in a personal capacity, I'll still be able to you know, be a member of the community and uh, do things that are uh, you know, within reason and travel and all that kind of stuff, but uh, definitely not gonna vanish. Stick around, Kevin, thank you so much. And thank you. Thank you. And thank him, and thank him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>